as good as gold. That is the buzz that has been going around because for some people, purple is the new gold now. Hi guys, Aka here. So, a little while ago, Ebony began releasing the Ascension feature for Purple Generals. And there's been a lot of hype about this, for various reasons. So, we're going to take a quick look at what exactly is going on and what we can expect from these new gold Purple Generals. The first general that we're going to look at, which until recently was the center of all the hype, is Sanada Yukimura. Okay? A lot of us know this general, we've been quite familiar with him, and for some of us, myself included, he's a very well-liked general. So we primarily have been using him to help with killing bosses in one way or the other. But now he's got his ascension feature. And if we take a look at it, he's got quite a few stats. The most eye-catching of all is the stamina reduction that he has in his first and his third ascensions. Okay, so for players that don't have that many gold generals, players that are just starting out, or players that are having trouble managing their stamina, this is a good addition. Okay, it's a good addition, and we're gonna see why. Now, the ascension of these purple generals is largely a good thing, and it has a lot of good news to it. Let me show you my Sanada, for example. Here he is. And the first and most interesting thing about the ascension of these purple generals is that it doesn't require blood of Ares. That's the major good thing about ascending these generals. Once you have enough fragments for the generals, you can do their ascension without worrying about blood of Ares, which is great in my opinion. I really wish that they would extend some kind of similar system to the gold generals. But if I'm being honest, that's a bit of a pipe dream. They did add a feature for the ascension of these generals a while ago, where you have the ascension fragments, which you can use on any general. But since they released this, they've hidden it behind all-star rewards. So it's not accessible to everyone. I really wish they would do something about that. But anyway, what we have here is basically the main difference when it comes to ascending purple generals. But the main benefit of this ascension is really going to come from how you use the purple generals. Sanada in particular in this case. What do I mean? Well, basically there are, I would say broadly speaking, three ways that you can use Sanada in the game. The first one is when you use him as an assistant. So you're planning on attacking a boss, you have your main general there, and you have Sanada as an assistant. In this way, which we've been used to already, you will get the debuffs that he provides, and you will get some of the buffs from his main skill and his specialties if you have done them. However, none of the buffs from his ascension will apply in this situation. Why? Because ascension doesn't work on assistant generals. So if this is the primary way that you use Sanada, then his ascension might not really mean much to you. So that's the first one. The second way that we really use Sanada is putting him in a subsidy. Now, some people are really big fans of doing this particularly when they are soloing big monsters. They will have a few Sanadas in their subs, and then they will hit the monster with the subs and get added debuffs. Now, using Sanada in this way, his main skill and his specialties, the debuffs from them will apply, but the buffs from him will not apply. Okay? So, Sanada's buffs will not apply in this situation. Now, we know that ascension on generals, like subsidy generals, do work, even when the general is in the sub. But in Sanada's case, if we look at his ascension, pretty much all the stats that you get there are buffs. So, most of the stats from his ascension will not apply if you're using him in a subsidy. So, because of that, if that is your primary use for Sanada, 
then his ascension isn't going to mean much to you again either. That's the second way that we can use Sanada. The third way we can use Sanada is when you are using him as a main general. And there are basically two ways that you can do this. The first way is when you are using him as a main general and you are sending him to join rallies. I've gone over doing this in a separate video where you try to help the rally setter get debuffs to kill bigger monsters. You can check that video out later if you haven't seen it. But in this case, if you are using Sanada to join rallies, then there are a few benefits that you can get from his ascension. The first and most notable one is the stamina reduction. If you do his ascension, you can get an additional 10% reduction in stamina, which is great, particularly for players that are just starting out and don't have that many generals. In that kind of situation, you could actually combine Sanada with other generals to get an added boost to your stamina reduction. So, for example, you can have Sanada as main general and Nathaniel Green as the assistant. That would work and that would reduce your stamina significantly. The other thing about this combination is that if you're sending this combination to high level boss monsters, the amount of stamina that you'll be able to save will be much higher than when you're sending them to lower level monsters. That is because the stamina reduction that they get is percentage. The higher the stamina cost, the higher the amount of saving that you will get when you are using these generals on high level boss monsters. In addition to this, you will also get the benefit of the increased march speed that Sanada gets in his ascension. So if this is the primary way that you use Sanada, then you can expect to get some decent benefits from ascending him. However, in this case, you will not need to do his full ascension. You'd only need to ascend him to three stars. That way you will get all the benefits that apply to you. Because you are just sending him to join rallies, the buffs that you get from the fourth and fifth ascension are not going to be particularly useful. So if that is the main way that you use Sanada, just ascend him to three stars and that's good enough. One other point I need to mention on this before we move on is that he gets additional double drops in his second ascension, which is actually very good. Now, if you do up to his second ascension like this and you have him geared out, as I'm showing here, with the dragon ring and he's got the lock book as well, Sanada actually ends up having more double drop percentage than Baybars. It's not much more, but it is higher than Baybars. So that's something that you can factor into your consideration when you're thinking about ascending Sanada. Although you would have to get seven copies of him as opposed to one copy of Baybars. So, well, you know, take that for what it is. Now, the other way that you can use Sanada as the main general is when you actually are using him to kill bosses. So you are using him as your boss general, you gear him up, you develop him like you would develop any other general, you put the gear on him, you refine the gear, you do his specialties, and you use him to kill bosses. That way, you will get all the benefits of his ascension. If you wanted, you could use another mounted general as the assistant to Sanada, for extra buffs, or as we showed earlier, you can use someone like Nathaniel Green for increased stamina reduction, and that'll be fine. In this situation, you would want to do his full ascension, because if you're gonna be using him to kill bosses, then all the buffs in his full ascension, all the way up to five stars, will be applied. So if that's the primary way you wanna use Sanada, then you need to do the full ascension. Sanada is probably not going to become your main boss general. Okay? That's simply because, you know, he is still technically a purple general, if you get me. So his buffs are not going to be higher than, say, you having a regular mounted general that you've put work in and you've ascended and you've, and you've developed quite far. 
No, he's not going to be that strong. So you'd probably be using Sanada as a secondary or third boss killing general that you use for killing relatively small monsters. So if that's your plan for Sanada, then that's the way you need to go about it. Now, aside from Sanada, there are a couple other purple generals that have been giving a lot of hype over the past few days. Ebony extended the Ascension feature to Miyamoto Musashi and to Joan of Arc. Now, on their own, you know, even being generous, these generals are not particularly great. Okay? Forget the greatness of the historic figures that they're actually portraying. In Ebony, these two generals are not good. However, with their Ascension feature, something unexpected came about. And these two generals were able to be used in the Senate. So you could get those two generals, max them out, and you could put them in the Senate to get the max buffs. Now, I hadn't done this, okay? I was kind of late to the party, but I got screenshots from a friend that had gone all the way and ascended these generals. So as you can see, he had done Musashi and he had done Joan of Arc all the way and he slapped them in the Senate. So thank you very much Q for the screenshots. Now, as you can expect, word got round and people started going crazy over this. And Ebony came and basically pulled the plug on the party. People started getting mails like this, where Ebony is saying they basically fixed an abnormal situation in the Senate. And they started refunding people for the gems and things that they had put in. So, as you can see here, my friend Q got refunded over 400,000 gems. I guess this is okay, but it's clear that Ebony did not intend for these purple generals to be used this way after you've ascended them. That's on Ebony for letting that happen. In fact, recently, they've been making a lot of changes after releasing features, which, for me, I'm not thrilled about because people get excited about stuff and then they come and change it and, you know, then it's like they put a wet blanket on your head. At least this time, Ebony had the decency of sending out a mail to notify people. Recently, as some of you might have noticed, I put out a video on the general Mu Queen Ying. I had covered the general and literally the day the video dropped, Ebony made a change and didn't say anything to anyone about it. They removed her ability to take the siege attack book, which was not cool, and no notification, no mail. Just, you know, let it slide under the radar, like no one noticed. So anyway, at least this time, maybe because of the significance of it, they had the decency to send out a mail and to compensate people. Now, with that being said, though, it does mean that the value of those purple generals, Musashi and Joan of Arc, has significantly reduced. Ebony is still going to be rolling out the Ascension feature on other purple generals, so we will see which ones become more prominent as time goes on. But for now, Sanada is really the only purple general that is pretty much worth ascending. If you have any comments about this, or any questions that you would like to ask regarding the ascension of purple generals, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you'd like to see the video where I show how to use Sanada when killing big bosses to try to reduce your wounded, then check out this video right here. That's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.